Hello everyone. We are going to be taking another walk. Because that's what we do. And if you look at that bus stop, you can see where we are. We are on 7th Avenue in Park Slope. And I am about to get stopped by a red light. Great way to start the walk, Vin. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we are. Seventh Avenue. Probably one of the nicest stretches of road in the Park Slope area. As you will all see as we walk through it. It's a ton of old structures and crazy architecture. So we're gonna be, we may be zipping back and forth across the avenue at times, so. Hope everyone is okay today. We're gonna be walking from, we just came off of Flatbush Avenue. I'm gonna be walk it all the way down to where this, where 7th Avenue ends, over by Greenwood Cemetery. It's amazing architecture right there. So whenever I do walk down here like I did last year, there's a lot of looking at the architecture. So, now eventually we'll pick up the pace once we get out of the area where all these brownstones kind of thin out, and we'll just start walking. Also, a good number of churches are on 7th Avenue. Here's one on one corner of St. John's Place. And then you have uh, the church over here on the, this corner of St. John's Place. With a tree growing out, looks like, out of the uh, chapel tower there. It's going to be a uh, slow going as we make our first few blocks here because I want to get these uh, a lot of these homes in because this is how the walk is going to start before it thins out. All right, should start doing more walking now than stopping. There's another church coming up in a few more blocks.
Trying to give you guys all a look around at all the structures down here. Try not to miss anything. Maybe we'll get some walking. Well, we are walking, but maybe we'll pick up the pace eventually. Here's what we'll do. We will start doing some straight walking right now. Just st stop with the stopping and panning for a little bit till we get to the church. Now, if you watch the last walk, the last walk was a doozy. <laughs> I, uh, I promise that this walk will not be as loud as the last walk. But, uh, yeah, if you just came back, came, came in from that walk, yeah, this is uh, going to be a lot more relaxing. It is the same day I recorded that one and then took a break. Just walking around the Barclay Center again for a little while, just looking at it. And now I am taking a walk down 7th Avenue to get into the Sunset Park section. Weather is warmer since this morning. It is now 70 degrees. Uh, you still see some people in jackets and stuff, but it is not cold. You do not need a jacket. Definitely do not need a jacket today. You don't need pants either. I'm wearing shorts and t-shirt. Sidewalk is closed. This right here is Old First Reformed Church. Uh, we'll get across the street and I'll give you guys a better look from across the street, but this is a really amazing church. Get across the street so you guys can get a look. Giving you all the slow treatment today.
So I was saying earlier, Seventh Avenue to me is one of the I, I think the nicest one of the nicest avenues in Park Slope. It's got a lot of old architecture. You've got a lot of places to eat, a lot of storefronts. There's always a lot of people on 7th Avenue. If uh, somebody asks me, because somebody asked me a few times, I've had multiple people ask me, <laughs> you know, what is the one of the best tourist attraction places in Brooklyn? I always say Park Slope. Walk around Park Slope. So, yes, it is. Tell people just... Just take the train down to Atlantic Avenue and just walk back. You can walk down 4th Avenue and walk down Union Street. You can walk down any of those streets going towards the bigger numbers. And even on those side streets, you're going to see some amazing architecture. It's going great. You by chance like modern friendly? I can. I'm I'm actually recording right now, so I'm on. Oh, my... so it's all right. It's okay. Take care, man. <laughs> you wanted to stop me for a survey. I'm like, no, it's okay. And then I told him I was recording. He thought that he took that like oh, I didn't want him talking or something. And I was like, no, I'm. I was giving them the reason why I couldn't stop. So. <laughs> Grand Canyon Diner, baby, right here. I've had some uh, breakfast here. If you're wondering where all that screaming is coming from, it's coming for the across my right side. It's uh, a school. Even if I wanted to show you, there's really nothing to see. It's all scaffolded, all scaffolded up. We are crossing Second Street right now. Actually, we're going to go across the street, if I can get there before the light changes on me. It's a burger village right next to us. I guess they make organic.
very nice day out. It is, uh, you know, it is overcast. It's very muggy out. It's like, it's very sticky outside. So it's, if you're not into that stuff, I'm sure if the sun was out, it'd be even worse. We got another church coming up. It's close to lunchtime. You see a lot of teenagers uh, walking around right now from uh, probably lunch break for school. But it is not quite lunch. It's getting there. I mean, it's probably quarter to 12 right now. Right outside a church on 6th Street. Because I lose track of all the names of these churches down here, so I'll give you the I name like in a second. We have parties and Christmas or what we hang out. Greenwood Baptist Church on 6th Street. I'll turn around and give you guys a look in a second. We got another church right here. It's All Saints Church. <laughs> so, lots of churches. Again, I will get across the street and give you guys a look at this. We'll look from here first. I'm giving you guys quite the uh, walking tour today. I'm literally like treating this like a uh, tourist with a camera. I look like a tourist right now. Everybody's looking at me thinking, this guy's not from Brooklyn. This guy's from Ohio. <laughs> I don't know why I picked Ohio, but. This is uh, New York Presbyterian down here of Brooklyn. Here's the church. This van is going to get in front of me, so I'm going to get in front of the van. There you go. And by the way, this is the hospital I was talking about just now to my left. So you can see there's a lot of stuff on 7th Avenue. We got stores, restaurants, churches, hospitals schools we also have jersey mike's that's right jersey mike's is in brooklyn so for those of you that don't know you could come to jersey mike's on 7th avenue in park slope 
between 7th and 8th Street, right across the street, right there. So, And I have had Jersey Mike's over there, and it's pretty good. Can't complain. A lot better than Subway, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You know, Subway used to be good F for all you young people that might, you know, uh, there's a lot of people that still eat Subway, but if you eat Subway today, and I remember how Subway was back in the 90s when it first started. It was amazing. It was way better than it is today. Like, I don't know what happened to Subway. So, you know, a lot of people... You know, don't, you know, you have a lot of older people like me that remember how it used to be. And you have some of the young people that don't really know what they're missing. So right here is the 7th Avenue train station for the F and the G train. And this is on 9th Street. Man, I just got hit with the aroma of mustard <laughs> like of all the things mustard right now like it's gone but it smelled like a uh, like somebody was serving mustard to, to go to drink or something it was just nothing but mustard We are on the corner of 10th Street. And get ready, we're gonna be walking down a lot of these streets. This, probably, we'll probably start doing them maybe even this week or next week, but a lot of these streets uh, are just nothing but like walk up brownstones, bricks, but they have a lot of trees. I mean, ridiculous amount of tree, tree coverage. This is really the majority of tree coverage in Brooklyn is in this area and Prospect Park. Like, as far as condensed in one spot. You have uh, a lot of tree coverage down in the south part of Brooklyn, like where I live. You got Dyka Beach, Dyka Heights, the golf course. You got Marine Park got Bay Ridge and Shore Park, but the biggest condensed area of tree, like just where all the trees are in this neighborhood, in like this part of Brooklyn. So if you look down, <laughs> look at that, it's just all trees. And if I look this way, all trees. You know, we'll cross over because it looks like there's more stuff on this side. The the side that we were just on looks like it's starting to thin out as far as uh, storefronts. So, come over here. It's always hard to tell when you're...
We are coming up on 12th Street. I know a lot of you like to try to keep track of streets. All you have to know is that we are on 7th Avenue in Park Slope. We started at Flatbush Avenue. And we're going to be ending it at Greenwood Cemetery. I always forget exactly what street it is over there when you run into Greenwood, but I think it's like 27th Street or 26th Street. But we'll figure it out when we get there. Um, but you'll probably figure it out before me because you can look at a map. And that is the reason why I was telling you where we are. It's just a straight run, straight line on 7th Avenue. So, very easy to keep track of where we are. You know, I used to do, in my earlier walks, like last year you probably noticed, I used to do, I used to put the street what the streets were for each intersection. But then I realized, you know, nobody really cares much about that. As long as you know where we are, you can follow along. It does take a lot of time to edit that in. That's why it stopped. And these walks are recorded, obviously, so you, know, you could always pause and <laughs> figure it out. Now we're coming out of, well, we're still in Park Slope. Soon we'll be coming out of Park Slope, we enter in the Sunset Park section. And you can see another block with a bunch of trees. Of all the avenues in Brooklyn, I'd say 7th, 6th, 7th, well, I guess you could say 4, 4th Avenue through 8th Avenue, but in particular 6th, 7th, and 8th Avenues, uh, because I lived on 6th and 8th Avenues as a kid, um, is the more sentimental walks for me when I come down here or I'm in Sunset Park. See these brick faces, three floors. You got these uh, apartments. These, these are now two floors. With the gates in the front. Yeah. 
give you guys a look at some trees. Haven't done that in a while where we just look up at the trees as we're walking by. This is Windsor Place here, so this will take you down to Windsor Terrace. We will come back. We did that walk the other day. And, you know, it was really, I was in the neighborhood. I had to take care of something. I was like, you know, I have my camera. Let's uh, walk around Windsor Terrace. And it's kind of all over the place in that walk. But um, it, it, Turned out to be a good walk. A lot of people liked it, so. Well, we, we only covered half of it. We were only on, like, the Prospect Avenue, like, the the south side of Prospect Avenue. We weren't really on the north side. On the north side, there's more stuff to see. There's a lot of, uh, there's some streets that are kind of... I guess you could say like little court court type streets. Now it should start opening up as we're getting close to Greenwood Cemetery. Um I haven't decided maybe this time we will stay on the side that's not the Greenwood side. Now, if you've ever been in Greenwood Cemetery or, well, if you haven't been to Greenwood Cemetery and you live in New York, like if you live in Brooklyn, you should visit it. It's to got a lot of history it's beautiful you don't need to go to the cemetery to visit someone's grave as long as you you know you go in there and be respectful you're good um, they have tour buses in there too so they actually have tour buses that take people through but what I was gonna say was this area of Greenwood down here which is the north side this is the, this right here, up here, I don't know if you could tell, like, looking in the camera, but this is the highest point in Brooklyn up here, up, up, up on that hill up there where those treetops are. I've mentioned it in the past. Whenever we're, like, at Owl's Head Park or Sunset Park, I always say the second highest or the third highest. Well, the highest point of Brooklyn is over here. It's right in this part of the... the uh, right in this part of Greenwood. It's called Battle Hill. It's got a lot of history. Washington was up on that hill watching as his uh, army was, I guess you could say, being defeated by the British. The Battle of Kipps Bay and the Battle of Brooklyn and the Battle of Long Island. And when you go up there, when you're in the cemetery and you get to that point, you'll know it. Because if you take, if you just walk through Greenwood Cemetery, you, you will eventually walk into that spot. Because everyone is gravitated towards high points, right? So you don't even need directions. You will eventually make your way up there. Um, and there's a big plaque up there, or like a board, that describes what the area used to look like before all the industrialization hit and everything but it's funny because when you're up there and you look in the direction that he was looking you really can't see anything anymore because <laughs> there's trees that have grown over the last couple of hundred years and there's a lot of buildings that have gone up but you can still see stuff you can still see stuff from up there um And this is the part of the park where is the highest point. If you, if I pan over again, you can see um, you can see how 
up the hill that's this part goes but it goes higher than this uh, it's not that's not as high as it goes it goes even higher than that You can see, like, just on um, 20th Street here, the slope up there. We're getting close to the ends of the walk, though. I can see the end. You know what we'll do, since we are only running at about 30, I'm looking at the time, 38 minutes, we'll keep going. We'll go down the street. Maybe we'll take the street down to uh, Fifth Avenue or whatever. Okay, we are at... 38 minutes. Now, I had originally said 25th Street. I was off by two streets. It's 23rd Street. So we're going to walk up 23rd. But I want to show you the corner of, you can see the perimeter wall here at uh, 23rd and 7th. It goes up and then it cuts. If you just, you know, pull up Greenwood Cemetery on a map, you'll see the shape. You know, like you'll see the perimeter of Greenwood. It's not a square or anything like that. It is all over the place. It takes up a big part of land. Across the street, we got some residential stuff. I want to walk by this house. I want to show you guys this house. We got a, a couple of old houses over here. We'll just walk in the middle of the street for a second here. See a, a car coming at me, a van. You see these old, small houses here. Looks like they're trying to keep birds away. <laughs> you got the crow with the eggs. Mm. A mama bird's worst uh, enemy is the uh, crow. It's got the picket fence. I'm sure it's not the original picket fence. It's probably been renovated many times. We crossed over. You got the cemetery on the other side of me. See where this house is just stuck in between these two. These are old homes. I'm sure that this home at one time had a picket fence. But not anymore. And these are what I like to call true bungalows. Right here. Well, this one needs some work. I'm sure at some point you will get some work. A lot of these colors that you see on these faces, they got the same style of colors that you see where we saw uh, Windsor Terrace. I 
Right, this is an interesting house. I must have walked by it a hundred times and never noticed it because of the tree grow growth and stuff, but look at this. All right. So remember, we just did 5th Avenue Park Slope, so this is 6th Avenue, and this is the power plant we walked by the other day. That's where we're going to end it. We're going to end it over here. Right at the power plant. So hope everyone enjoyed the walk. But we are going to end it here on the corner of 6th and 23rd. I'm going to keep going. As you can see there, the cemetery goes down and then it cuts down another street. It's like a, like a jigsaw almost. But anyway, everyone take care. Have a great day and catch everyone on the next one. Bye-bye.